Levi Whitney here with Uphill Cinema. Today we're gonna to do a review on the Miller CX-18 fluid video head and the Sprinter carbon fiber legs. So if you like this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell that helps get content to you quicker. And it just supports the channel for me to be able to do more things like this. So let's talk about the system and who it's for. So if you're the type of person that thinks you're never gonna shy away from mirrorless or DSLRs, then the system probably isn't for you. You can stick with 75 millimeter ball head style systems and and you know, the Miller Airline is a great line for that. But if you're the type of person that's like me that shoots on, you know, an alpha camera all the way up to F55s, uh, to Alexa Minis, to Reds, to uh, rigged out FS5s, FS7s, and you know, you have cameras that are over 20 pounds, this setup is perfect for you. So one of the greatest parts about the CX range of fluid heads from Miller is the ability to have a counterbalance all the way from zero to 16, and then that, that range, the payload range, depends on the setup you get. So because I use a wide range, I got their heaviest one they got, which is the CX-18. The ability to switch and balance out each one of those settings, counterbalance, uh, from this new switch they have on here, instead of you know this massive range, there's actually like half steps in there, which gives you those 16 steps, gets you that perfect balance of whatever camera you have and the payload of zero to 35 pounds. That feature alone is amazing. So like I said, the CX line of fluid heads and the carbon fiber legs makes a perfect companion to someone shooting from alpha all the way up to bigger cinema cameras. So one of the things that I did is I paired it with Miller's Sprinter Carbon Fiber 2 legs. The reason I did that, because I actually have a lot of their solo legs, is I wanted the Sprinters because first, it's a lot more stable. You have you know, more stability when you're panning harder and when you have a heavier camera, that makes it a lot easier, more stable to kind of do those whip pans. And, and when you're doing narratives, it makes it a lot more stable. But the other thing is, is when you get a little older, you know, this this thing, you don't need to bend down all the way to the ground and pick it up. This is just a couple switches and you can one hand pull it straight up and it gets to the level you need it. Boom, you clip the switches down and you're good to go. So yeah, another thing that's really nice about this system is how easy it is to just to get used to it. I've had gaffers and grips that, you know, I ha tell them to grab it and they just know how it works. Or if they've never used it before, you know, they, they get it really quick. So it's got nice spikes on the bottom too, take off the rubber feet and boom, there you go. One of the things that I'm super excited about is they finally have a top entry plate. So you don't have to slide it through and, you know, have to take your mat box off or rails or whatever you can just snap it in and you're good to go so an extra bonus is the new bag it comes in it's tailored to a t it is cut and made to fit your system just perfectly in it it's got a ton of pockets to fit your plates in there your arms in there even some 15 mil rods some base plates but yet it cushions everything and is just nice and clean and tidy so the bag is just like I said, it's it's fine-tuned and it's tailored just right. And it's got a cool little feature on the back where you can pull some straps out and put it on as a backpack if you don't want to sling it over. So absolutely love that bonus of getting this system. So all in all, do I recommend the Miller Compass CX line of fluid heads and the Sprinter carbon fiber legs? I absolutely love it. I will never go back. Like I said, this could be a little biased. I love Miller. Um, but I really do. I wouldn't even be talking to you if I wasn't passionate and, and thought that this is a good investment. So yeah, I appreciate the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on that notification. Follow me on Instagram. It's Uphill Cinema. Ask me as many questions as you want. It goes right to my pocket. So uh, I answer them as quick as I can. So uh, yeah, appreciate everything. Stay tuned for more episodes and have a good one. Thanks guys. Bye.